Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... We're doing another Kid in Life Q&A. Yes, yes we are. So, Dad, uh, I've been looking around this interface, and I've been wondering what these couple buttons down here do. Uh, if you could explain them, that would be great. Okay, let's load the previous project in again. Now there's three tools down here. The first one is the selection tool, which we've uh, used often. Then there's a razor tool, which is new, and a spacer tool. Let's start with a selection tool. Um, if you look in the bottom left corner, you'll see a tooltip popping up when I change tools here. See there? That uh, gives you a good idea what you can do with the tool. So the whole point of this uh, exercise is to show you how to group select stuff, uh, which is extremely useful uh, when you want to keep clips together that belong together. So let's say, for instance, we want to select this clip and this clip. You want to go off the clip anywhere on the background where there's no clip there and shift left click and you see the box that gets created and select it but you see what happened here if this is what you wanted that's fine but if you didn't want this uh, transition to be selected it automatically selected that because that was in the way of your box you'll see the, all three things are pink and selected in other words and if I grab any one of them and move it the other three will come along but let's say I didn't want this uh, transition so I go on it I hold down control left click see it disappeared from the selection now if I grab any one of the other two you'll see that transition is still sitting there where it used to be it didn't move with and in some similar, similar way you can do uh, if you want that clip and this clip, you know, you can just click this one and then hold control down and click that one. And even though it looks like it selected the whole project, see what happens when I move one. Deselect by clicking anywhere in the background. Let's say you want to select the whole project. So stand close to a corner if you want to select all of them, press shift, hold it down, left click, create the box, go all over to the kitty corner, across, let go, all keys, and that should select all of them. And now we've moved the whole thing. Let's deselect. Okay. Next tool is the razor tool. I used to use this tool a lot in the beginning before I knew of a better way. And the way it works is you simply select it like that and you see your mouse pointer change into a scissors. And now you can go here and cut that clip if you want. And if you wanna, I don't know, do stuff with it, you can move the edges, drag the edges like that, move the clip, whatever. And I'm just going to undo that, Control Z. The problem with this tool is it's not very accurate. If you're zoomed out like this, you don't know on which frame exactly you're cutting. So if you want to cut two clips, let's say along this line, it's always a guess. Your first cut might be to the left of this line, a frame or two and the cut on this clip might be a frame or two to the right if you use this freehand tool. So the best way to do that if you want to cut two clips is to right click and use this function cut clip and then select this one, right click, cut clip. Now you know that, that line is exactly on the same frame for both these clips. The last tool we want to work with is the spacer tool. Um, this guy's purpose is to insert spaces. You can see the control click to use spacer on current clip only. So if I, what it means is if I press control and click that 
club. See, when I click, it works. When I let go, it doesn't. So you gotta click and hold it. Now I can just move this guy. But that's no different than using the selection tool and do that, right? So normally you want to move more than one clip at a time. So it seems to work this way. If if I click here, everything to the right of my cursor, that funny arrow that's there now, will move. Let's test that. That works. If I click here, anything to the right again of that cursor should be selected and moved together. So that means this one, this one, this one, and this one, and all the transitions as well as these, right? Let's see if that works. It does work. Uh, okay. If I click this one, then this one is partly to the right. This one is partly to the right. That one is not. That one is not. That one is not. This one is not. This one is, and that those two are. You see there? Similarly, if I do this one, I need the top one, this transition, and the bottom one. Uh, oh, maybe these three as well. Yeah, these three as well, maybe. Let's see. There we go. Yep. And if I pick that guy, as long as my arrow cursor is, is to the right of this bunch here, it's going to select that one and this one because they both share this vertical line. Let's see. There you go. The last thing we want to cover is this fit zoom to project button. Let me just get the selector back. The selection tool. Okay, so let's say you zoomed in like this and you want to see the whole project. That's the point of this button. You click it and it shows you as much as it can, as big as it can, um, the project, everything in the project, everything that you got on the timeline here. Let's say you are zoomed out like this and you press that, again, it's gonna go back to that same view. And this is an extremely handy view to have. Sometimes you just need to see everything um, maybe to judge how long your video is going to be uh, or just how it all hangs together whatever or just so you can quickly navigate to either end or somewhere in the middle by clicking but that is very handy to, to be able to do so fed zoom to project and that's what we're going to cover in this one so in that video, Dad taught us how to use the selection tool, the razor tool, the spacer tool, and how to use the fit zoom to project button. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Bye! Bye!